Hey, hey guys, what's going on? Nanaki here bringing you another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Today I was playing some Pyro on Nightfall, another one of the payload race maps. As you can see, I'm doing fairly poorly at reflecting rockets right off the bat, really just kind of reflecting them off of my face. Not the most effective approach, but I've said it before, of all the things I'd like to practice at in Team Fortress 2 and get better, compression blasting, rockets, grenades, etc. All manner of projectiles for that matter, Jurati, hunts and arrows, everything, anything, mad milk. If it's a projectile, it's not a bullet. It can be reflected, and that includes people, and breaking up Ubers and so forth is something that almost only Pyros can do reliably. Yeah, you can use explosives to try to juggle people, but more often than not, compression blasts are the most reliable way to break up an incoming Uber. So after we dealt with their initial Uber and then managed to come out successful in the ensuing back and forth, we're uh, pushing the cart rather unopposed, which is always nice, but it's also kind of worrisome because it means more likely than not the enemy team will be respawning all together. I just took the approach of WM wanting straight at the medic, figure if nothing else I'll give my team an open shot at the demo man while he hopefully defends his medic, but I managed to kill the medic without really being harassed very much in exchange. <laughs> Same thing with the heavy, just kind of ran straight at him, lit him on fire, knocked him around a little bit with a compression blast, disrupted his aim, and was able to walk away basically unscathed. Unfortunately, I did not notice those little legs up there in the corner jumping toward me, and I slowed it down to about 20% speed there, so you can see he took me and my medic out, and yes, no, indeed, it felt like respawn. a very long respawn after dying as a pyro while riding the cart to a spy and losing my medic, who was charged as well. It's like the double death. Doubly embarrassing. Kind of like getting murdered by a heavy who's getting random crits and direct hit. <laughs> direct hits are too fast to reflect at point-blank range unless you just guess when he's going to shoot it. There is no human reaction time that is 0 .01 seconds. <laughs> so moving in, once again, again taking one of the side paths. I always try to take the side paths if possible. It makes it a little bit more likely to catch people by surprise. You always want to catch people by surprise if possible. That was the whole point of Pyro in the first place before they could reflect all manner of incoming fire. You had to be sneaky and catch people out of... Uh, out of their awareness. Out of their awareness. That makes a lot of sense. Good English right there. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'm going to circle strafe and die to this other sentry because there's two sentries built right outside of their spawn door. That seems pretty silly to me, but who am I to say because it killed me in the end. And as our cart gets closer and closer and closer, still their mad sentries managed to take us out. And I got kind of hung up on the corner of the cart there. I was holding left strafe like, please let me by. I don't want to stand here and be shot. But alas, that was not in the cards. So the pushback from sentries, especially level 2 or level 3, is really rather significant. You know, a lot of times reflection, I think, comes down to paying attention to how quickly your target reacts against other people, and then you can kind of use that to gauge your timing when the time when the, uh, the time comes. And I knew there was a sentry gun over there to my right-hand side, and I, I really expected it to kill me, but luckily there was just enough people that the sentry probably couldn't pick a target and... The other people on my team took care of my problems for me, and that's always, that's always nice when that happens. So another round, another day, another group of people to burn and or extinguish. It's the other thing you can't forget with Pyro is being able to put people out is invaluable. Like if that guy had seen me and ran toward me instead of away from me, I would have put him out. That would have been two people saved from burning. And uh, I think, you know, after burn is 90, if I'm not mistaken, and 90 is a lot of health to lose that can be avoided from as simple as using up 20 ammo or 50 ammo from the back burner, if I'm not mistaken. Again, if I'm not mistaken. I am actually pretty much certain about that. It's 20 for the regular compression blasts, 50 for the back burner, and after burn is 90 damage. And always watch your back. It's the other thing, of course. No, just assume that somebody's going to stay in a corner when you move in on them, especially if there's any any path they could conceivably take to get at you there. And I honestly thought I had a pretty good chance of being able to reflect those rockets back down into where the sentry placement was, but I thought, no, I'm not that lucky. They're just probably going to come up after me. So instead, I just charged straight at them. Amazingly, they don't have anything built. More amazingly, somehow no one noticed me heading over here. The medic didn't deal with me. The NGs didn't deal with me. The heavy apparently ran out of primary ammo. The soldier didn't know what was going on. I can't make any more excuses for people. The pyro eh, also probably didn't see me. At this point, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to push my luck by charging at the heavy medic pair by myself. Uh, but when I did see the respectless rubber glove, I immediately thought, spy! The spy is me! Oh, wait. He doesn't have the white face mask on. He's, he's not me. He actually has the respectless rubber glove. Anytime I see a pyro with a rubber glove, I'm like, Spy! You think it's you. It wasn't. It wasn't at all. So my little rampage led to the end of that round. <laughs> I was rather pleased about that. A couple rounds after that, 
Ended up on the uh, same team there with Amish Babysitter playing Medic for me. Before the round started, said it's time. It is time for the Uber NG round. And I was like, okay, I, I can dig that. I can make this work. Maybe. Maybe, possibly, depending. <laughs> depending on how good my opposition is. <laughs> you know. There's uh, obviously limits, but uh, I was pretty pretty upset I did not get anything but 18 on that medic there. That kind of begins my 18 damage crits from the shotgun. If one pellet from the shotgun hits your, your target there, you get 18 for a crit. I think I probably get like 5 or 6 18 damage crits in this round, which is both a testament to my, my bad aim and uh, the, the level to which the Frontier Justice can be rendered useless by bad aim. There's another 18 damage little boop. Like, don't even, don't even make the crit noise for that. Come on, you just, you, it did not even give me any respect. No respect at all. Somehow that soldier did not see me. And there's the Uber. I knew I was going to be due at some point. Good thing I didn't have any more, uh, didn't need any more sh rounds in the, the shotgun. Because three is all I've got. That simultaneous pistoling and mini sentrying certainly does add up rather quickly. Yeah, finally, I do manage to get more than 18 damage on somebody. <laughs> the pyro. Dropping the mini sentry, hoping he would go after it instead of me, but he was making a V-line for me. Luckily, I had a medic on me. If I didn't, there was no way I would have survived that long. So, having cleared out the majority of the resistance there, we are finally able to push the cart in. I say finally like it was a really long round. That was like about a two minute long round. <laughs> uh, but we had been playing on that map for, for many, many hours. In fact, and uh, an earlier round, this was kind of random. In fact, the rest of this is basically random clips leading up to the highlights from the live streams, the last two that I did, which were actually like two weeks ago. Just saw the red cart being pushed in there. We almost lost this map because that medic randomly popped an Uber on us for no reason. Like, yeah, I just feel like using this. It's uh, it's sitting in my gun. I'm going to use this Uber now. It was like, yeah, we're pushing the cart, and so are they. Oh my god, now we can't push the cart. It uh, luckily did not work out as badly as it could have, but I, I saw potential for disaster there. And uh, everybody wants a crit sticky when you've got a cart to clean, and I happened to get one. Of course, it didn't really matter, <laughs> because being Girati covered the next shotgun blast was more than sufficient to take me out. And I love this guy just leaving the defense, like, yeah, I'm going this way. I was yelling on the team speak at this point, like, no, 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 get, defend the cart, turn around, turn around, demo man, defend the cart! Like, nah, that'll take care of itself, I'm sure. And another random highlight. <laughs> Starting off, of course, the best way to start around is to launch at the enemy. And if you didn't see there, I did actually manage to get the heavy to crater. My good friend Metamorphosis there. And, uh, yeah. Just just for the sake of it, there it is again in the instant replay. I just thought that was, when it happened, maybe the funniest thing I'd seen in a while in TF2. And I was like, man, it's a good thing I happen to be recording this round. And that's what kind of motivated me to, to sit down and spend a few hours editing all these together. Like this clip here of this pyro just burning the cart. Like, as if you could just light the cart on fire and it'll take care of your enemies for you. And uh, one more clip before the series of clips from my live streams, which I, I only really pick, put together a couple random clips, but uh, they are rather amusing. This guy, this heavy, I asked him, please push F4. For the love of God, push F4. And he just stared at me. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! For the entire minute that follows this, he just stared at me. What coward is still not ready to fight? I mean, voice chat, regular chat. I should have done this long ago! I, I don't know. I'm out of ideas when people are just that obstinate. So, a minute later, I had my opportunity for revenge, and I took it. Ah! <laughs> you told me a box of rocks. That makes me laugh every time. No, that's a shame too. Thank you, Sam. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> that was so close. So close. <laughs> I feel bad for Captain Hero. <laughs> Waiting to see what I see. That did not kill that heavy with all of that. Oh, good. Good timing. Good timing, Mr. Bob, with the support. That's amazing. 
Tell you what, if they get this point, then they win. Because time's up. Uh, if they don't get this point, then we win. Ow. No, oh, come on now, that's not fun. Oh, the timing. The timing is painful. No. That was the best Uber ever, by the way, dude. Like, seriously, best Uber ever. Woohoo! Amazing Uber at the end. Thank you, sir. Oh well. Onward! Alright, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get to that last point! As fast as humanly possible! Yeah, Can't hit what ain't there! Plant yourself on the point, mister! Me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, not how bats work. <laughs> amazing, dude. Oh, Running time. Whee! <laughs> oh god, I'm dead. <laughs> oh, I bet those snipers are really watchful on their next approach to the front. Good games, good times. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for joining me. As always, I appreciate it, and I will see you next time. Peace.